So here's my review of the uh, Motel 6 here in Palm Bay. I'll put the address in the um, description, but went and got my coffee this morning. Very, very affordable place. So normally get something that's a little bit more expensive, but there was no availability. And I originally looked at the reviews of this place. The reviews weren't great what I saw online, but I think a lot of them are um, maybe competition or something because I had a very good experience at this place. It um, um, It is dated as far as there has been no you know, modern or new renovations, but it's super, super clean. So if you want a, a very affordable place and you know, I'm sure that their rates do fluctuate depending on the season, but right now it's um, February of 2016, and I paid um, you know 60 bucks um, for the room, which is you know that included tax. So very, very, very affordable. And again, that's gonna it might fluctuate up and down um, depending on the season. But as you can see, it's an older exterior uh, style hotel. You know, I don't know. I'm sure it's several decades old or a few decades old. And it hasn't been renovated, but very, very, very clean. It's right off the interstate, Interstate 95, I-95 in Florida, um, in Palm Bay, of course, south of Melbourne. And it's very, um, very well kept, very clean, and safe. And they have a um, parking permit to where they don't let just anybody park here without being registered. The Wi-Fi was super strong never had one issue with connectivity last night and it was extremely fast so that's a huge thing with Wi-Fi I think they charge I think it was like a couple extra bucks they charge for Wi-Fi but very very good uh, value and they do not serve continental breakfast and they you know you do not get newspapers there was not a uh, refrigerator in the room but again you know it's it's affordable and so if you want a place that's clean, safe, off the interstate, convenient, um, there's multiple restaurants uh, close by. Nice, you know, Waffle Houses, uh, Burger King, um, but some Chinese buffets and a lot of other things. Okay, so I've stayed here. I stayed here last night, so it is a little bit, um, a little bit dirty. But See there, you got your little office desk. Uh, the beds are comfortable, and of course they got a TV. Of course, it's not a modern TV, but that's okay. As you can see, the you know the it's not been refurbished in years. It's um, you know has repairs on it that's not posh, but it's still um, clean. And keep in mind, this is after using it this bathroom for you know last night. hardware, the maintenance, the paint, the um, upkeep, the cleanliness, that is why I give this, you know, I give this hotel at least, for the price, I give it a four out of five. Now, of course, if you look on TripAdvisor and you look on Google, you'll see reviews, which I think a lot of them might be, you know, from the competition. My experience is that it's, the three things is it's affordable, it's clean, and it's safe get any uh, rundown vibe from this place or any uh, I don't see any illegal activity it's right beside Lowe's where I know that Lowe's has 24-hour security and always tip your housekeeper they work really hard I wish I could do more than that but